David Anderson can never stray far from the machine that removes the toxins from his blood. Dialysis affects your life by impinging on your freedom to do the normal things that you do. Anderson is one of about two million people worldwide who suffer from chronic kidney failure. Right now they only have two options, dialysis or a kidney transplant, if they're lucky enough to get one. There's a huge gap between the number of kidneys that are available to transplant and the number of people on the waiting list and that's getting bigger and bigger every year. But a project led by University of California researchers is generating hope among dialysis patients. Scientists are working on an artificial kidney that could be implanted inside the body. What we're doing is to mimic the function of a kidney by combining a synthetic filter with a biological component, which is the bioreactor. The project has been chosen for a federal program to speed the development of breakthrough medical devices. Once it's implanted, it will provide therapy 24-7, continuously. It would allow the patient to have freedom of mobility. They could travel, which is very hard for a dialysis patient today. The artificial kidney is a long way from medical reality. Human tests still several years away. But if successful, it could dramatically improve life for patients like Anderson. You have the ability to return to work. Uh, lead a normal, uh, productive uh, life. A life unplugged and unrestricted. Terry Che, Associated Press, San Francisco.